AITA for having my wife's missing ring replicated without her knowledge? I am not the original poster. That is you, Specialist P2618. He posted in R, am I the asshole? Trigger warning. Lying. Less than. Mood spoiler. Happyish ending. Less than. Original post. December 17th. 2023. A few months ago. My. M44. Wife. F43. Lost a ring given to her by her late grandmother. My wife was really close to her grandmother. So needless to say, the ring held significant sentimental value for her. Also, given that her grandmother died last year, it was a particularly painful blow. We searched high and low but never found it. After it was missing for about a month and my wife started losing hope, I decided that I'd have the ring replicated. We did have quite a few pictures of the ring, so I thought it could potentially be done. I did suggest the idea to my wife, but she did seem very receptive to it. She said things along the lines of how it couldn't be done and how it wouldn't be a replacement for the one her grandmother gave her. However, she didn't expressly say she would not allow me to replicate it. I ended up taking the pictures to a jeweler and described the piece to the best of my abilities. Two months and 9k later, the ring was ready. I will admit that I kept all of this secret from my wife. And the day it was ready, I cancelled work to pick it up and placed it between two sofa cushions that my wife usually sits around. I didn't want to present her with the ring, as I thought she wouldn't like that based on our conversation earlier. Fast forward a few days, and my wife finds the ring. She's overjoyed, happier than I've seen in a long time. I congratulated her on finding it and thought that was that. Recently, my wife started questioning the ring. For the past few weeks, she's been telling me things like how it feels a bit different. Today, when I got back from work, my wife started asking me about the ring. She was saying things like how it felt different and how it looked different. I'll save you most of the details. But in summary, after about five minutes of grilling me, I confessed about having the ring replicated. To say she was furious would be an understatement. Basically, she yelled at me for being dishonest, claimed that I was acting like being married to her was charity, and also said that I had insulted her intelligence and embarrassed her in front of her friends and family. As she told them all that she found the ring, I apologized and told her that I didn't want to see her depressed. But she refused to listen. She ended up locking herself in our bedroom. I tried apologizing again, but all she did was slide the ring under the door towards me. All this just made me confused and conflicted about the entire situation. AITA for getting her ring replaced? Relevant comments. Better start apologizing. Yeah once she cools down, I'll definitely be apologizing again. Though there will probably be a night or two of me sleeping on the couch before we reach that stage. YTA not for getting it replicated but for lying. The ring is poison to her now. Thanks for the feedback. Yeah unfortunately I think this particular ring is poison to her. I've got to start from scratch again I suppose. You can't mean with another ring? Definitely not. I'll apologize and try doing something else for her. At this stage, this ring has essentially become one of the evil rings that Tolkien wrote about. You should have just asked if she wanted a copy. When I brought up replacing it earlier this year, she didn't expressly say she didn't want that but alluded to how it would not be the same. I guess I should have just listened and tried something else to cheer her up instead of this. Band-Aid solution. Don't tell her, you didn't explicitly say no, stop trying to justify this. Thanks for the advice. I won't try justifying it whatsoever the next time I apologize and I'm willing to do whatever it takes for her to look past my mistake. On the money, once I think she's ready, I will apologize again. As for the money, 
It was out of my own personal account rather than our shared one. Oop is voted YTA. Update post. December 21st, 2023. Four days later. So, it's been a few days since I last posted. And I'd like to provide an update on what's been happening. But before that, I'd like to thank everyone who took the time to respond to the original post. Your insights were incredibly valuable in helping me navigate this situation. As expected, I did end up spending a few nights sleeping on the couch. My wife was very angry with me, so I kept my distance and allowed her time to cool off. During this time, I've been keeping the replacement ring with me, as I didn't think my wife would even want to see it. Our youngest asked me why I was sleeping on the couch the other night. And I told him that it was good for his old man's back. It's another lie, but I didn't feel too bad going ahead with it. Tuesday night, after the kids went to bed, I apologized profusely for the entire situation. I told her that there was zero justification for what I did and that I should have listened to her. Rather than try to replace the ring, I told her that what I did was unbelievably foolish and inconsiderate and I then offered to explain to her family and friends the situation if they were to ask about it. We did end up talking for a long time, and she told me that it was very difficult to describe how she felt about my actions. On the one hand, she was very frustrated that I thought I could just replace the ring. Yet, on the other hand, she was a bit amused that I'd go to such lengths and said she appreciates that aspect. She ended up re-accepting the ring, and I was allowed back into our bedroom. Things do seem to be slowly returning to normal, but if there's one thing I've learned about married life, it's that this conversation will probably be revisited a few more times in the future. And they will likely make my wife upset again. For that reason, I have decided to buy my wife a necklace, which I'll surprise her with in a few days. I'm thinking that this will hopefully soften her anger if this conversation ever does come up again. Relevant comments. Maybe ease off on the jewelry giving and clean the house or something lol. Well. I got home from work earlier and managed to clean all the dishes and do the laundry so it's a start. Tears of joy. Clean the house only in an apron. There's a discussion about his kid seeing him. Haha. Ha. Oh man that be embarrassing tears of joy fortunately. My wife got home before the kids today. She saw me cleaning and told me that she hoped I saved some energy for later tonight. 10 out of 10 cleaning was absolutely worth it. I hope things work out. Thank you. I appreciate it. Earlier today, I got us reservations for her favorite restaurant next week and have arranged for a sitter that night. She doesn't know, so it will be another surprise. Are you sure you want more surprises? 100%. I'm sure she'll like it since we haven't been out in a little while. But I will run it by her. Oop reveals how that plan turned out the next day. Absolutely. I let her in on it last night and she thought it would be a great chance opportunity for us to have some time for ourselves. I am not the original poster. Please also remember the no brigading rule. I think that he had good intentions but failed at the execution. Exhibit of that age doesn't bring wisdom because dude. Somebody told this guy that gift giving was his love language and he took that and ran with it. This is so very much an illustration of, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. He clearly meant well, but he really isn't getting that it wasn't about the configuration of metal and gems of the ring. It was that it was a gift from her grandmother. You can't just replace it with a duplicate and make it all better. I have my late mother's Cartier Trinity ring as fancy rings go. It would be affordable to replace if I lost it since it's the standard version without any stones. But I love it not because it's a Cartier Trinity ring it's about being my mom's ring. And one of her favorite pieces of jewelry. I would be utterly destroyed if I lost it. And wouldn't want the replacement. 
Everyone saying that the wife is overreacting don't realize that he made her lose the ring a second time. Call me crazy but I find his idiocy strangely endearing. Some people have more money than sense. She said things along the lines of how it couldn't be done and how it wouldn't be a replacement for the one her grandmother gave her. However, she didn't expressly say she would not allow me to replicate it. My dude. Yes she did say that. After that this particular ring is poisoned, bit I was kinda hoping that there'd just be multiple updates of the dude trying to make new rings to replace it. Bonus points if he'd say some iteration of, well you didn't say no. It'd be very infuriating for the wife. But extremely funny for outside observers. Why would a man cleaning in an apron be embarrassing? ETA. Oh. I missed the word, only, lol. I got it. Answered my own question. She's just sad and angry with herself for losing the ring. And his little trick, made her feel that all over again. This was so well meant. Yet so poorly executed. The ring is in one of their sink dirt traps. No doubt in my mind. While Oop had good intentions. This is the kind of thing parents do to kids when a goldfish dies. Instead of letting or having the kids grieve. They switch the dead fish with a new goldfish. Oop acted in a paternalistic way he thought he knew best but he didn't actually understand what. His wife felt she lost and believed he was justified in tricking her in order to make her happy. Okay I'm sorry but what's up with men and this, well they didn't exactly say no, ideology. For that reason, I have decided to buy my wife a necklace. Which I'll surprise her within a few days. I'm thinking that this will hopefully soften her anger if this conversation ever does come up again. This made my eyes pop out a bit. I don't know if he still thinks lying solves emotional problems. But he still thinks buying things is the solution. This man is Phil Dunphy. I even went back and reread the first part in his voice. Rolling on the floor laughing. There is an undercurrent in all of this guy's actions and writing that gives off a vibe that he doesn't think very much of his wife even if he deeply loves her. It's very 80s, 90s sitcom style with the trick and, congratulating her on finding it. Pat's wife on head, then sleeps on the couch when she's upset he treated her like a simpleton. His description of marriage in that, she'll probably bring this up again several times in the next 40 years. Har har. Women. Tone of voice. Coupled with him doing two standard household chores that surprised her enough to impress her. Yikes. It sounds like she also works maybe as her arrival home wasn't timed with the kids and they have a shared account and he has a personal account. But him doing two basic chores is out of character? No thanks. It sounds like he really cares about her and making her happy. But it also sounds like he doesn't actually think about her feelings, thoughts beyond surface level. $9,000 also could have gone a long way to a plumber, housekeeper, and or organization service. All whose real job is turning over every single inch of the house to find the ring and worst case. Scenario is clean pipes. And clean organized house which also probably would have made her very happy. The ring poisoned that couple. Next time, hire a hobbit. The idea that it's ever good or healthy to deceive your romantic partner needs to die out. Like yesterday. She should have divorced him. Filed for full custody and alimony. He should seek therapy. This marriage is on fire. Edit. S. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.